Hi everyone, I'm Natasha and today I am hauling some clothes! problem when it comes to buying clothes. I buy way too many of them because I always think like, oh, I'll just haul it in a video and I can write it off. It's not that big of a deal. But then I never end up filming a video. So here we go. My write off is finally happening. This video is actually brought to you by Gwenny B. They're the ones who kind of like kicked my butt and made me do this sooner rather than later. Gwenny B is like an online subscription service for women between the sizes of 10 and 32. I got to try out six separate clothing items that they have in their catalog of clothes. Like they have so many clothes on that website. I think about a year ago, I tried out their service on my own volition um, from my friend Loe Lane. I signed up through her. I was really intrigued about the idea of basically renting clothes for a price of a small shopping trip. You can get two items for $69 and get three items a month for $95 and then so on. You get to try designer quality, great quality, fun pieces that you wouldn't be able to normally purchase on your own. So if you guys follow me on social media, you've probably already seen this dress. I've worn it now a couple times. It's this beautiful swing dress. This is from Gwenny B, but it's actually from the designer Alice and you. I've been going to a lot of events lately, so this is how it would work in my life because I always need something new. I like wearing different things and I don't ever want to be caught in the same thing. No thank you. It's a swing dress with long sleeves, red and blue, gorgeous. So on the website you can search through you know all the different styles they have, tops and dresses like I just showed you, pants, blazers, jackets, skirts, depending on your prioritizing of items and if items are readily available, you'll get an assortment of what's in your closet. Just because you put something in your virtual closet doesn't mean you're gonna get it right away, but you're going to get something in your closet and it's going to be delivered to your door like in just a couple days. I also picked out this really pretty dress. It's kind of like a teal design. They're like little roses. It's kind of straight on the bottom, but a little bit gathered here on the waist. I think this is a beautiful dress, but it's slightly a little too big. So when I go to return this and, you know, say I want to try it again, I would just take the size out of my closet and put in the smaller size back into my closet. And you can switch out your clothes as many times as you want in a month. So say, you know, you have your three items, you've already worn them, you know, in the last three days, you put those in the bag, you send it back. You can actually notify Gwenny B that you've already sent them back so that they can get another shipment out to you. This next top I have is quite interesting. It's like velvet on the sides here and then you have this panel of like sequins and embroidery this is definitely like a night out top maybe if you're like a hairstylist or a makeup artist you know a lot of the times they can only wear black so this would be really fun to wear I also have this really cute skater skirt this isn't my typical style but I think that's what's really fun about Gwenny B is that you don't have to commit to pieces I would never purchase this skirt in real life it's teal and it has white tigers on it. I'm not that person who gets like far out prints. I've always been scared of like skirts like this because I'm not a fan of my legs, but it was actually kind of like the perfect length on it. And they all come with like this little tag to tell you if you want to wash these at home, if you want to rewear them, it says wash gentle cycle. This next top that I picked out is so pretty and just really casual and sweet. It's this polka dotted shirt with all of these lovely floral designs on the sleeves and then on the bottom of the shirt. It comes below your butt so you can wear like leggings with it or jeans if you want. I've worn this now five times. <laughs> I kind of want to buy it and that's the thing like if you love an item so much you can buy it from the website and just keep it once you have it. Of course it's not going to be at full price because it's already been through their website. Obviously Gwenny B dry cleans all their garments before they send it out to new customers. I think for some people that might weird them out but to me, they're clean, they're disinfected, it's fine, they're clothes. Lastly, I have this really pretty professional dress that you can wear to work or you can wear to an event. It's sleeveless. It has this little kind of um, keyhole design where you can see the white in it. It's princess seeming so that way it makes your torso look nice and shapely, not just like straight up and down. Flippy, woo! 
Being in my 20s, I'm still trying to find my personal style, especially if I'm going to different events here in Los Angeles. It's really nice to have something that's different and something that I don't have to spend a lot of money on. I think Wendy B does a fabulous job on making it easy for us to try clothes. A lot of the times plus size clothing is expensive and this makes it also affordable. If this service sounds like something that you're interested in, I have a link down below to get you started. It's a 30 day free trial at Gwenny B. If you don't like it and it's not for you, you can just cancel it without even being charged. And if you wanna continue, then that'll be fun for you. Okay hauled clothes go behind me. I also did a lot of shopping in the last like month or so. I did a whole ASOS order, which by the way, ASOS is available on Gwenny B. I went shopping in Forever 21 and I went to the Macy's one day sale and I went to Old Navy. That's right, I forgot about that. I think before I get into those purchases, I have a couple fandom related purchases or gifted items. I got this Captain Hook shirt from Christine from Redbubble. Cute. So, you know, I love Once Upon a Time and so she's super thoughtful in getting me a shirt from it. Then I got Howler t-shirt from the Red Rising trilogy. Oh, what's a video and I don't mention Pierce Brown. You guys thought you could get away from it from a clothing haul. Nope. Julianne who Pierce and I surprised with an early copy of Morningstar makes these shirts. And she so kindly made me one, and now I am a part of the Howlers. And last, I have a sweatshirt because I am Christine's ultimate fangirl. I'm no, just a very supportive best friend. I got her house book slayer. We can sit in one position for long periods of time. And then on the back it says, all book slumps must die. I love the red, I love the yellow, I feel like a Gryffindor. Thanks Christine, I love my sweatshirt. I went to Old Navy just a couple weeks ago and they had a lot of their stuff on sale from you know, the winter time. And I got this white sweater, it's v-neck, long sleeves. I only really got to wear this once because it's, you know, back to 80 degrees here in Southern California. Oh, how I love the heat. This next shirt I bought a couple months ago from Old Navy, but I wanted to show you because I it influenced another purchase from Old Navy. It's this just t-shirt, black t-shirt with this black lace paneling on the shoulders, I guess. My favorite part is the slit on the side. The slits are really fun and they're also really flattering, especially for someone like myself who has a large but sometimes like shirts get kind of bunched around there. When I was going to get that white sweater, I saw this green shirt with the lace, but this time it's in the front. And also it has a slit as well. I wore this in the Pierce Brown video as well. A lot of people were asking me about it because it's super pretty. Also at Old Navy, I went a little shoe crazy. Oh, I didn't know you guys would see that back there. I got these pair of like rose gold flats with this black what's this called suede something that is totally not like me i bought tennis shoes i don't wear tennis shoes i wear like flats or i wear flip flops like any normal southern california girl would these were on sale for like eight dollars and they were in my size so i'm like uh yes and since i'm on shoes now i'm gonna show you i got these nude flats from Steve Madden. I've only worn them twice. I wore them because I didn't really have any shoes that match this blue dress that I wore for the Morningstar book launch. Jeez Louise, I have now mentioned Pierce Brown three times. Shoes on the ground, go 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 on the ground. In my entire haul, I don't think I bought one pair of pants. I need to go on a mission to buy jeans. A couple months ago, she inside who I've been getting stuff from them for like, I think the last two years, sent me clothes. I can only find two items out of, I think the four items they sent me. I'll have them linked all down below. This is just a plain black shirt with a white collar. This isn't really something that I would have ever gone for, but I completely love this. Funny story about this shirt. I uh, wore it out to dinner and I had my hair in like two French braids. Now, when you think of braids and a black white collared shirt, who do you think of? Wednesday Adams. <laughs> the waiter was like, are you trying to be Wednesday Adams? 
awkward. No. I understand, like, I looked like her, but did you really have to say it? it was a guy? He doesn't know any better. I also got this, like, nude sweater. It comes down below the butt, and instead it has a dipped back. I think this was supposed to be a dress, but I'm 5'9", and I have a butt. It's not a dress on me. Moving on to Forever 21, I didn't buy as much stuff as I usually do. A lot of the plus size range is online and I actually much prefer buying Forever 21 stuff online because it's a lot less of a headache than going into the store. But then I also like going into the store because I like to see how things fit. So that's what led to purchasing this skirt that I've yet to wear. I'm not a big fan of skirts, yet when I tried this on it was really cute on. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with. I kind of liked it with this white sweater, but it's too hot now to wear it. And now I'm orange. It's like a chambray material, not really quite denim. A lot softer. Ooh, and it has pockets. I didn't even know it had pockets. I feel all skirts should have pockets. I also bought this shirt at Forever 21. It comes in a variety of different colors, but at the store they only had the gray in my size. I love the cold shoulders. I just think they're really fun. They add like a little bit of edge to an otherwise boring shirt. I got this real pretty blue sweater that I just washed. I love this like icy blue color. I think it's really pretty. So when I saw it, I'm like, yes, that is mine. Comes down pretty far. It looks good with leggings or jeans or like white pants, especially like, you know, cause the spring's coming up. So for my ASOS order, everything is very blue and black. I bought this beautiful blouse. Quite a pattern here. I like lace inserts. Next, I have this dress from ASOS, but it's from Misguided. This is a very flouncy blue dress that I wore to the Pierce Brown signing, the one that I hosted. Links down below. So I really like this dress because it was blue and I wanted to get a blue dress for the Morningstar signing because Morningstar is a blue cover. So when I saw this online for like $30, I'm like, yes, very pretty, floral, flouncy, ruffly, super cute and feminine. But when I got it in the mail, it was really weird. So this V right here, my mom had to sew it up because like, hella a lot of boobage was like spilling out of the dress and then the sleeves were too long so my mom had to be a tailor once again and she made it so that it was tight to my wrist so that it would kind of puff out and that's about it otherwise like it doesn't fit snugly around my waist but it still was really cute and pretty and I felt confident in this dress once my mother tailored it this dress I thought was going to be really cool and I was going to wear it for like BEA or Y'all West or something, but it just looks like a towel. So it's this like kind of Romany dress um, with this on the sleeves and then the same thing on the end of the dress. I look like I'm wearing a towel. Like it's no shape at all. I think it's gonna be a great beach cover up, you know, when the summer comes around. And last I have this black kind of witchy dress. It has a tie that kind of looks like a jersey or like a jockey, I guess. It's really in style. I don't know if I want to do the trendy thing with this dress, but it's still really beautiful. It has a slip underneath. It comes to right, um, kind of about a couple inches above the knee. I also bought a new pair of sunglasses by Q Australia. It's called Q. It's spelled Q-U-A-Y. I really want to call it Quay. I saw this at a boutique after I went to the movies one night and I've been eyeing these sunglasses for the last year. I've really been wanting to buy them and they were right there in front of me so I bought them. Oh my gosh, I love these sunglasses so much. The cat eyes just suit my face really well. Last I went to Macy's. I scored at Macy's. Almost all these items were like eight dollars. First I got this beautiful turquoise sweater. It's like a cow turtleneck. So pretty. I can't wear it right now, but I'll save it for next winter. I got this like hot pink dress. How much was this? It was $9.26. Hot pink. I feel like this is going to be really fun on my birthday. So it's just chiffon. It gathers at the waist and it flows out to a nice skirt. It has a sash. Then I got this other hot pink shirt. This one was $8. Hot pink blouse, 
like little ruffle on the end there long sleeves chiffon this like cool back right here yeah and last is this really pretty dress how much did i get this for i got this for nine dollars and 26 cents as well it's this turquoise dress um it's a high low hem kind of on the bottom but the best part are these sleeves look they're so pretty it's like this crocheted lace Oh, this is so beautiful. I can't wait to wear this for like Y'all West or BEA. I'm gonna save it for one of those events. I love it. Oh, okay, that's it. Thank you everyone for watching. This was another plus size haul. I hope I was able to help anyone and you guys were able to sign up for Gwenny B. I love their service and thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. If you guys do enjoy these hauls, please let me know. Or if you're a new viewer, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. A lot of these clothes are probably gonna be posted on my Instagram. If you guys wanna see like outfit pictures, follow me at Toshopolis. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you all in the future. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!